du efter den perfekte barbering. Now it's starting in just a few minutes time. So hang on. Alright, it seems like we are live, so I'll just yeah start. And yeah, welcome guys. Uh, this is the tutorial for Jefferson uh, Circuit, I think it's called. Yeah, it's a very small, narrow track, and uh, it's actually quite technical. Um, yeah, I will start the tutorial uh, as I normally do with. Um, how to hold on the steering wheel. Um, many of you have maybe heard this before, but uh, yeah, just skip past it then. Uh, uh, for them, or for the uh, the ones who skip this uh, steering wheel thing, uh, yeah, it's the same rules that applies. So uh, yeah, don't go and turn even more. All right. Um, yeah, the steering wheel, uh, when you hold on the steering wheel, have your left hand at uh, 9 o'clock and your right hand at 3 o'clock. Um, no, no other uh, position are acceptable. You give uh, get the most um, feeling with the car in that way. And yeah, um, when you start turning, the most common mistake is you turn too much. Um, people don't turn too little because then the car won't turn into the corner. So many people start to turn too much, especially if they carry too much speed into the corner and they see, okay, we might have a problem making the around the turn. Then uh, they always start to steer more and steer more will just create more understeer. And uh, if you're not if you don't know what understeer is, is when uh, the car slides over the front wheel and don't follow the the inputs you make uh, with the steering wheel. Yeah, the the rule um, that all always applies on every single track in every single car on the service. The maximum you can turn is so when you have your hands in the fixed position that you need. 9 and 6 and you turn to the left I'll just turn to the left here that's the maximum you can turn so when you turn to the left your right hand is on top of the wheel that's the maximum you can turn any longer than this the cars just start to understeer and that's no good and it's the same rule applies if you turn to right then your left hand will be on top of the steering wheel yeah, maximum you can turn. If you ever see the bottom of the wheel is on top, 
you got a serious problem with uh, steering too much and you can gain whole lots of time uh, not doing it yeah that's the most basic I will <coughs> sorry that's the most basic I will call with the steering wheel um, yeah so now I'll start on the tutorial itself uh, about the track um, as I s mentioned earlier it's a very very technical track so it's it's also difficult to for me to learn um, you anything on this track. Uh, the problem is uh, already starting turn one. Uh, for turn one, I don't have a breaking point. It's very open. Normally, you expect some uh, numbers on the left, uh, hundred meter, fifty meters, and so on, uh, towards the breaking zone at the turn. But you don't have anything here. You don't have any single thing on the left. As you can see. On the right you got the trees. But they all look alike. So. Yeah. I can't tell much uh, about the raking for turn 1. Um, it's important not to break too late. It's important not to break too early. It's a very difficult turn. And I... <laughs> have only nailed it once uh, when I did some practice for th for this tutorial I, have, I haven't done many laps I think I've done around 15 laps or so uh, so yeah but around this place is the breaking point you can look around um, yeah trees <laughs> sorry I can't help you in turn one but it's important you are all the way out on the lift you can see there's uh, like a uh, a patch or something in the middle, uh, just in the middle of my steering wheel, uh, where the um, yeah there are different colors on the on the track. Stay to the left and start braking out here, and point the car towards the apex when you start braking, or not towards the apex in this angle. So you travel here, going down through the gears, third gear, and you go down to second gear here, and don't turn in early. You want to stay out and around here you want to start turning turn 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 and full throttle here so before you uh, start to um, hit the apex of this turn you are on full throttle in second gear still full throttle still full throttle and go drag out don't go all the way out to the left because you want to go a little bit to the right third gear and over this curb so you open these corners up brake a little bit turn in and you can go over this curb and you travel all the way over here the, around here that's the maximum you can track over uh, from the right hander you have just passed into this left hander if you go any further to the left you will make this um, corner way too tight and the reason why I'll just reverse make it more clear da -da -da -da. reverse 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 blah 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 like this Alright, you can see from this apex, which is around here, until the left hander, there's not a very great distance or very far. So that means the speed you take out of this turn uh, uh, can be sacrificed because you want the speed out of the next turn. So if you are maximum attack around this turn and you go all the way out here on the left, go all the way out here and you start braking you sacrifice this left hander and this left hander is full throttle from before the apex all the way down to um, the quick left hander so that's a far um, um, yeah that's a further distance uh, to that turn than there is from the last right hander to this turn so sacrifice the right hander so you will be out here on track instead of all the way into the left and yeah okay and this turn is a left hander you break this turn here this is where you start braking uh, it's important to get the car slowed down so you follow the curb around don't hit the curb that's pretty pretty slow and yeah you go around and you downshift to second gear you st start to turn in you move a little bit out and then you start to turn in again and 
Here you go full throttle. It's a little bit difficult to see when you're in the car, but it's actually pretty much a double apex turn. Well, that's some bad reversing. Yeah. There we go. You, you hit, don't hit the curb, but you hit the first apex here, trail a little bit out, and get back in here, and then full throttle in second gear. And track out to this amount. This is the maximum amount you can track out. If you go further, you will. Um, you have too big of a radius uh, in this turn, and if uh, you, you maybe you say, I don't have a big radius because I go out here and I then go back in here. Yes, but then you have to use some steering to get from out here to in here, and that's every single time you uh, uh, use the wheel, you scrub speed off. So, yeah, don't go all the way out here. This is the maximum drag out you can have, and you shift from second to th third gear around here, and follow around here, and go all the way in here, and drag out, and y again, here, you want to use uh, the uh, uh, darker grey, I'll just try to, it's a little bit difficult to see, where the reverse, there was reverse. It's difficult to see, but here you can see the light gray and you see the dark gray, and then there's uh, this patch or what it's called in the middle. And you want to have your right hand side tires and the uh, gray dark stuff um, to open up the next turn. So you drive out there and you are in fourth gear here by now, and you just get over this uh, top, and here I break. Again, you might say I can break later, and uh, that is true. And I can also make it around the turn if I break later. But the problem is, um, again, there's a small straight after this turn, so I can sacrifice the entry to get a faster exit. So that means maybe breaking a little bit earlier, coast into the corner, and then hit the throttle hard before the apex. And uh, yeah, that's the quickest option that I found uh, in this turn. So yeah, that's what I do. Again, it's a little bit difficult with breaking points. Uh, I'm a bit sorry about that, but yeah, I I don't really have a point um, where I break. Um, I think I just developed the skill. So when I look at the apex, I'm pretty good at judging the distance and can get it very consistent every single lap. Uh, when there's a turn like this. Uh, it's better that <laughs> you actually find a breaking point that suits you and don't follow my advice with looking at the apex and judge the distance because that's a rare circumstance that will lead uh, into anything good. So don't do that. Find a breaking point around here. It, it could be a sand patch out here or a shadow. Ah, there's no shadow, sorry. Something like that. Um, just bear in mind, it's not an overtaking corner, but bear in mind if you are on the inside for this turn and you can't see the sand patch you are breaking after, it won't help you much anyway. So be smart when you pick your braking point. Yes, and you are in fourth gear and you downshift to third, and it's important you stay out as long as possible to open up the corner and then you stay in. I recommend you to use a little bit of curb, and when I say a little bit of curb, it means you have two wheel in the bottom of the curb like this. If you hit the curb uh, too hard, uh, the car will start to unsettle itself and it will maybe slide a little bit sideways or jump a little bit and all that is um, losing momentum and speed. So just a tiny bit um, of curb here and you're in third gear obviously and you track out and from the apex you need to be 100% far and be very committed and track all the way out and use the exit as well. Um, again, here is the lighter grey and the darker grey and you have to use the darker grey uh, for the right hand side of the tires. It can, if um, you can practice it in a practice session or a test session obviously and if you find it uh, not very uh, uh, consistent that you can do it, don't do it. Um, it's better to run consistent slabs uh, without doing it than 
doing five fi or fourteen fast laps and then crash on the last lap of the race or early in the race. Um, it's better to always finish. And yeah, and you are uh, in fourth gear now. A lot of people go all the way out to lift, but it's not necessary. It's just uh, wasting time, travel extra uh, distance, and we don't like that. And here's the first curb. Don't hit it. Just turn in here and break that here. There. Uh, again, um, you can use this as a reference. You can you can see this tree and this big big shadow. Um, I don't break at this shadow. I got uh, this angle for the turn and uh, heading towards the first apex. And when I pass this. I start to break. So after the, um, you can see it up here in the rear view mirror. After this um, shadow for the tree, I start breaking. And uh, I have seen uh, in the practice session I've been in, a lot of people, oh, travel, so like that. They um, go all the way out here and have a big radius on this turn, keeping all the way out here and then cut in on the last, uh, or when the corner tightens in they start to turn in um, and <laughs> that's just um, a very very bad line because you're traveling way too much uh, distance all the way out losing uh, losing losing time losing time losing time and they will argument yeah but we get a better exit yeah the, maybe but the time you uh, lose with uh, with traveling all this distance all the way out here and then cut in is way more than what you gain uh, having a tight line and maybe have a slightly worse exit so yeah you need to be tight in this corner all the way around and focus on the exit um, it's easy to carry too much speed up here but I'll, I'll do some laps and try to show you and yeah you have this uh, angle and then you start traveling a little bit out you went third gear and now you say down to second and you break a little bit trail break trail break trail break and you start to turn in and now you are on full throttle like this full throttle travel all the way out yeah I'll try to do a lap and go through it because it's a little bit difficult to explain See if I can nail. <laughs> very pull up, but uh, yeah, the tires are very cold. So, see if I can do a better one next time. did that what you cannot do and the car instantly starts to slide. Shit. Sorry I didn't say that. Too safe. I'm a beep right now. lap as you can see on the spit time. It was a 59.5 or oh, 56.5 sorry. And off we go. Yeah. Before um, yeah I, I will show you a proper lap uh, in a replay I got. Um, but
but before that I will tell you a few facts uh, that is quite important that very few people seem to know or not know but not do alright the f first thing uh, everyone knows but it's not everybody that use it but I, I something like this I'm about to show is called free time or I call it free time because it's so easy to take uh, I'll just turn around. Alrighty. When you are on your, um, st you're gonna about to start your flying lap in, let's say, in qualifying, or you are going for a fast lap in practice. Drive all the way out to the um, right, pretty slowly, just in second gear, around this speed, or maybe a little bit quicker, and then you turn in and get full throttle like this. So you get a good exit. Then you have all the speed down towards turn one. That's stupid not to do. You can see I did it on uh, my f uh, fastest lap as well, and I was one tenth quicker than this lap towards turn one. That's a lot of time to be gained by just doing a little trick like that, uh, driving f uh, further out slowly and start your lap. All right. The other thing is. When you, st I'll just go to back to this. When you're in the pits and you're about to start your qualifying lap or your hot lap in practice, go out of the pit and don't go out and go flat out. Just cruise around, and I mean, uh, this is the speed you have to go around with, putting very little force into the car around this lap. And I mean, yeah, just speed. So no force into the tires, because um, at the moment the tires are the quickest when they are cold, and they are only cold for yeah one lap. After that lap, the advantage is gone. So driving with this pace on out lap, then you will get the the best out of the tires on that first lap. You might have seen in practice, you often get the f fastest lap uh, you can put in on the f first lap, and that's because the tires are faster that way. If you see it late on, it's because you're inconsistent, and uh, yeah, sorry, but yeah, it's because you're inconsistent and uh, not can use the tires to the full potential of a single lap. Yeah, I'll see if I can get a good lap this time by, otherwise I'll find a replay, replay for you. And you can see the... I'm already in front of my lap. A little bit on late on the brakes. Yes, but you suck. Slides. Car slide a little bit, so I had to correct it. Loss of time. God damn it. Break too late. See if I can get the last left hand or right. Hardest turn on the track. Ah, decent lap. 56-0 was that lap. I guess um, yeah, that's that's fine to. Sh oh no, I will find the best lap that I got. Uh, this was to go away. Da 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 da. So many. And this is the one. This is uh, my. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is my fastest lap at the moment. It could easily uh, be a bit quicker. I was a little bit poor on the first and second sector. Oh, head starts. All right. I'll go through the lap slowly. Um, 
and show to you the breaking points I use. Alright, let's go a bit back. Alright, let's look around for a breaking point. <laughs> yeah, not much, eh? Let's see, chopper. Not gonna happen. Okay. You can. Maybe, can I go further out? Can I go further? Is, is this the one? No, that's not the one. Is this the one? Yes, it is. Alright. Um, as you can see, when you are traveling down the straightaway, there will be the first um, shadows for uh, of the trees. You travel past that, travel past the next one, and there's a small gap in the yeah forest over here. So there's some light on the track, and you travel past that, and when you come to the next one, you start breaking. You can see I start breaking now. So the breaking point, as we just discovered, is with this uh, trees. You can see, I can see if you can see it from the inside of the tower. Yeah, you can actually see it. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Here's sorry. Here's the area where the the light is, and that's the. Here with the shadows are so use the um, shadows for the trees to to break into turn one. All right, breaking, breaking, and you can see I, I'm I was first at 100% breaking, and I'm aiming this angle, not toward the apex, but this angle. And now, about now, yeah, I'm starting to lift off the brakes, and then the car. Um, is um, when you hit the brakes really hard, you tr uh, you move all the weight of the car towards the front wheel, um, and uh, to some extent the car turns better with some extra load on the tires. But when you are in a hard braking zone and have moved all the weight towards the front, and the weight is at the front at at the time, the car uh, turns very badly. So when I start to lift off the brakes, some of the weight um, we'll move towards the rear again and that means the car will turn better and yeah now you will just see this braking go further and further down also called trail braking but going f slowly down as I turn um, more and more see if I can yeah yeah you can see and I never turn more than this very little trail braking and you will see from tracking to uh, full throttle there will be a very short distance still on the brakes, still on the brakes, still on the brakes, still on the brakes and slide on the brakes, off the brakes and now you should see the throttle build up very quickly here and it builds up very fast at this point I'm on full throttle let's see from Chubba so already here I'm on full throttle Maybe it's better if I do this or this or this or this. Oh God, this should be on. Yeah, it's hard to see, but fairly early in the corner, I'm on full throttle, and I will hold this full throttle all the way out. And I'm in second gear, by the way. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, and now I hit third gear third gear there it is and as you can see there's still some distance over to the grass and that's because this turn will be way easier now and I don't have to turn as much on the wheel and if I don't turn as much as the wheel I can carry more speed and uh, uh, and since uh, you're not turning as much you won't scrub the speed off so third gear still full throttle still full throttle Turn in. Still full throttle. Still full throttle. Keep turning to the left until you start turning to the right. If you start when you are going out of this turn and start, uh, or stop turning. Sorry, stop turning, 
and you travel towards the apex, then this right hander will get very, uh, very, very um, uh, what is called um, narrow. Um, so if you keep turning left until you have to turn right, you will open up the corner and you can t carry uh, more speed into this turn. So yeah, I'm still turning left, still turning left, still turning left, and now I start turning to the right, and you will see. I go a little bit off the throttle here. Look at this uh, pedals, full throttle going off and hitting the brakes a little bit, and you will see and back on throttle. Just in a second, there you go, or not? It goes a long time. There is full throttle. All right. A lot of people uh, just uh, lifts the throttle and uh, goes around this turn and back on throttle. The reason why I brake is I can hold the on throttle uh, longer time, and that little hit on the brakes uh, will transfer some weight to the front wheels and make the car turn in better. As I explained before, too much weight on the front wheels it won't turn nicely. A little bit extra weight on the front wheels it would turn very very nicely. So. That's just what I do here. Try uh, move some weight to the front, so it turns in uh, very rapidly. So brake, turn in, and it's important that you turn when you just hit the brakes. All right, full throttle around this turn, and there I'm 100 brakes. Just one frame at the time. There, I start to go off the throttle. So this is the breaking point for for this long left hander, and as you can see, I don't go out here. I just take the narrow way again. Break, 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 and I start to turn in, and you'll st soon see uh, this break um, or the pressure on the brakes will uh, decrease because I'm already actually steering too much with that amount of braking, so it should start to go down very fast after this. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Good on ya, Jesper. Uh, and yeah, you can see as more as I turn, the less brake pressure I use. And I should be off the brake soon. There we go. And start to build up the, the throttle. It's very, very important to get on the throttle very early in this turn. I've seen a lot of people spin um, in this turn. Uh, and yeah, it's difficult. Uh, not to do actually. I'm at the maximum angle you can turn now. You can see my right hand is up here, my left hand is down here. Turn, 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 turn. And I go build up the throttle now. Should happen now. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm not 100% throttle. Um, I'll call this 85 to 90% thereabout. And I'm accelerating, accelerating, accelerating. And that's not to spin actually. <laughs> And I start to open up the the steering, and when I start to open up the steering, I can start to apply uh, the last bit of throttle. So, if it's uh, after the book or what you call it, if it's correct, you will see the throttle. Um, after this, fairly quickly go to 100%. We'll see if it happens. Yeah, open up the steering, back on 100%. Yeah, and now you'll see the change in third gear. And you can see I'm turning again. Um, you can see I did. You see now I'm turning. I'm not 100%. And if you jump some frames, I'm start to open up the steering. And now I go to 100%. Yeah. And then I start to turn again. That's because um, I don't want if the if you break the grip of the car, it's easier. Uh, it it will start sliding. But if you open up the steering and go back on throttle, you have given the car a chance to have grip and when it has grip it's easier to uh, keep that grip on full throttle so when it got, got the grip you can start to turn again and you should see when I uh, shift from second to third um, that I will open up the steering a little bit again maybe it won't happen I don't know could be and yeah I start to open up the steering again yeah, perfect actually almost straight here. You can see the clutch coming on now. Should jump to third gear and yeah you can see my steering is straight. 
and I start to steer again. So the trick is when you go from 85 to 100% open up the steering when you need to change from 2nd to 3rd gear open up the steering, do the shifting and then start to turn again that's pretty much the trick to avoid spinning in this turn um, and that's what I do uh, I try to do every single lap yeah and then it's just full fun I won't say much about that track out let's see if we can find a breaking point for this turn because on this lap uh, this corner was uh, fairly good I start to break there a little bit of break so this is the breaking point mm. oh. do we have anything we can look at uh, nothing spectacular well there's <laughs> I, I, I bet it's impossible to see but there's a little bit of sand and then the grass starts to come again so a little bit hole in the grass uh, yeah not much of a breaking point to see here. For some reason, I cannot look to the sides. So yeah, maybe it's shop I can reveal something. No. Yeah. Maybe you can find your old breaking point. I I can't <laughs> find anything uh, that is worth uh, noticing. So yeah. Let's continue, and I turn in, go off the throttle, and as you can see, don't hit the curb too much. This was my, just slightly too much, when do I hit it? There I hit it. This is the <laughs> pretty much the amount of curb you can take. Anything more than that and you're screwed. And the car start. you can all see the load transferring from one side to to the other all the time if we play it yeah let's do let's, you can see the weight of the car moves around because I hit the curb it's not good but yeah. I still managed to get on the uh, you can see I'm on the throttle here I yeah. actually pick up the throttle already here uh, before the apex of the turn to get a good exit Full throttle and all the way out on the exit. Let's see it from the onboard view. Might be a little bit easier. And I'll play it in uh, slow motion like this, so you can keep a look at this and the steering as well. On the brakes, downshift, turn in, going off the brakes, and off the brakes now, and back on full throttle. Uh, full throttle now, and don't ever lift that pedal. Full throttle. Full throttle. Start to open up the steering, so I can use the acceleration 100%. Steering is straight. Fourth gear. Just go quickly down here. Again, going past that tree, going past this one, and breaking point. So I just try uh, past the shadow, point the car in the direction I want and go on the brakes let's see it point the car and on the brakes now I'm traveling this direction and you can see a maximum on the, on the brakes and the steering is straight travel 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 and then I start turning should go off the brakes now here yeah. I go off the brakes still braking down to the third gear going more off the brake and now the car really starts to turn 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 and now I start to brake it again because um, let's see it here I'm on the brakes but it's starting to sh sh be tighter here so I want some um, some turn at this point and you can see I go off the brakes and I get some turn I turn the car and now the, it's starting to open up again and then you'll see I'll try to brake the car the last bit so I straighten out a little bit, hit the brakes again, downshift to second gear. And also the reason why I straighten out is not only for the braking, but also to make the downshift from third to second. If I if I turn and make the downshift, there's a very, very high risk that I will spin. If I don't make the blip or 
the heel and toe or whatever technique you use correct then the, the car can slide and you can spin out so straightening out and make the downshift is way way safer and in this particular corner it's also quick and now you can see you make the downshift and now I start to turn again and I start to un uh, open up the not open up but use less pressure on the brake turn 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 and I turn a lot now and now I start to build that throttle and around here I should go on full throttle there we go not full throttle actually I hit the curb not good I should not hit the curb but now yeah now I'm on full throttle starting to open up the steering there we go and travel out and go towards the line and what was a 55.808 let's lap I'll just pay, uh, play it in uh, full speed um, and that's the last thing I will do in this tutorial this track is very difficult to do a tutorial on, tutorial on because there's no real braking points um, I can only explain you how I do it um, and I hope people uh, get anything out of that I'm sorry about that but hopefully it will be better next week here is a quick lap um, on Jefferson course That's the lap um, in normal speeds. Uh, yeah, remember to uh, follow here on Twitch. Uh, make some comment in the in the forum post uh, in the thread. Uh, it's very important that I get some f uh, feedback on these uh, so I can improve. Uh, and also what I need to cover, uh, not only in the track tutorials, but if anything. Uh, like um, technique wise um, I can also do a video on that um, and yeah if you got any questions also make sure to post them in that thread uh, so I can answer the best way possible uh, yes thanks uh, for watching I hope you enjoyed